And in science and medical news, an Israeli biotechnology company on the cutting edge of tissue engineering is making a big breakthrough when it comes to spinal cord implants for treatment. Matricelf has developed a platform for 3D printing human tissues and organs that will not be rejected by the body. It's technology being used and advanced even now to help victims with uh, severe spinal cord injuries. Human clinical trials are planned for 2023 on this pioneering technology. And this is technology that is revolutionizing the field of modern medicine because of the ease of 3D printing some of this technology. With us now in studio uh, to tell us more about this, Asaf Toker, the CEO of Matricelf. We talk about 3D printing and, and how we could, the, the, uh, the uses on the human body. I want to note here something that was printed by Matricelf, your company, right here in this cube. This is uh, a human heart, a very tiny replica of a, of a human heart. Uh, so tell me more about what you are actually doing with 3D printers, what you're printing, and can this actually be put into a body? So first of all, this heart was printed by Tel Aviv University, by the lab that we actually uh, licensed the technology from. And uh, we are developing a platform for uh, tissue engineering. And uh, the main uh, differentiator of our technology opposed to other technologies it, that we use the same patient's biomass, the same patient, in order to create any tissue and any organ that we want, which we can either print in a 3D printer or we can uh, inject it to uh, wherever we want to uh, treat. And so now you're having a new focus also on spinal cord injuries. Uh, tell us more about the possibility in this field. So just try to imagine that a uh, patient with spinal cord injuries, that they currently have no other medical treatment that are in a wheelchair, will be able to take a small biopsy from their uh, uh, tissue and create an implant that will suit exactly the place that uh, it's injured. And we hope that they will regain the walking like we saw in the lab on some animals that we... I mean, it sounds absolutely revolutionary that uh, someone who is confined to a, a wheelchair cannot walk because of a spinal cord injury. You could print something on a 3D printer implant it in the neck and they could walk again? Hopefully. We saw it in uh, animal trials that we already did. Uh, we are currently aiming for a first in human clinical trial towards the end of 2023. Two years to start testing this yeah, in humans. Because, uh, and again, if it will work, then it's a huge step in, uh, in medicine. Of course. Explain exactly. I mean, this is printed from a printer. How does the body not I mean, rejected. If, if you have a severe injury, let's say, to the spinal cord, you're implanting something, how does the real human nerves connect to, to this? Sure. So, so as, as I said in the beginning, uh, there are many companies that are doing tissue engineering, but they usually use cells or scaffold that are coming from uh, various sources, not necessarily the patient himself. Since we are using the patient's own cells and own scaffold, uh, we believe that the, the rate of uh, immunologic response will be zero and there will be no organ uh, rejection. Rejection. Uh, so between now and in two years when you hope to a uh, begin human clinical trials, what's the next step in the growth of, of this technology for the company? Is it partnering, continuing with, uh, with hospitals and doctors? How do, you improve, how do you grow still? So currently we are doing uh, more animal trials, uh, mainly focused on safety to see that it's not dangerous to the, at this stage to the animal, but in the future to, to the human. What kind of animals? Is there a power? Uh, rats. Those are search specific rats that, uh, that we use. Um, and this is the main uh, steps that we are That's facing it. now. And, and in two years, you hope to begin clinical uh, testing. Explain also the, the applications of this. Um, it can revolutionize medicine, correct? Definitely, because we use what we call the induced pluripotent stem cells. And what does that mean? It, it, Fancy term there. Yeah, it, it is basically stem cells that are being, re, these are basically cells that are being reprogrammed into stem cells, and then we can differentiate them to wherever tissue that we want. Mm. So, for example, if you have a Parkinson's disease, we can differentiate it to uh, dopaminergic cells. If you have uh, uh, diabetes, we can actually create cells that produces insulin and cure diabetes. So it's really a matter of where we want to differentiate the cells. 
But as I said, in the first phase, we are focusing on spinal cord injury yeah. and we're differentiating them into neurons.